today's video, we're going to talk to you about the new ARC app control of the 2017 model Pioneer Radio. Right? Yeah. Stay tuned. So Pioneer has gone ahead and released uh, the next generation of some of their radios, mainly their CD, or in this case, non-CD radios, uh, and is designated by the 9 and the model number. Model number. Six Here. <laughs> Easy there, killer. What this has brought to the radio is a new form of Bluetooth, and with this Bluetooth, it has allowed you to do full ARC over Bluetooth. Uh, it was a feature that you could do basic ARC over Bluetooth, such as control sources, volume, and stuff like that. But now you have the ability to go and adjust the EQ, crossover, time correction, and colors, all while not being plugged in. There is a catch. Uh, it doesn't work right out of the box. You actually have to do the smartphone setup. So what we're going to do is walk you through the smartphone setup uh, for both Android or iPhone. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then we're going to demo it on an iPhone. Now, some of you guys out there have Android phones. I know this might come as a shock. I know, really? I was shocked. I didn't, I didn't realize there was another phone. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, each Android phone is going to be unique in how it functions. If you want to comment down below and tell us, hey, I have this phone and it works, that would be wonderful. Yes. Because a lot of people ask, and the truth of it is, we just don't have tons of Android phones laying around to be able to test this stuff. So if you guys have one, you bought a new radio and it functions, yeah, that'd be great. Let us know in the comments. We'd really appreciate that. Otherwise, let's get to the setup. So what we want to do is hold the SRC button down until the radio goes to sleep or in standby mode. Hit enter. Menu will come up. Hit system. And we want to scroll this down until it says phone connect. Select enter. Then it's going to come up what type of phone do you have. Do you have an iPhone? Do you have an Android phone? Pick the type of phone you have. Select enter. Then it's going to ask you, do you want to do Bluetooth or wired? Select Bluetooth. Hit enter. So how we know it worked is we go ahead and hit source. If we can get Spotify and we can get Pandora to appear, then we know we've gone ahead and we've activated it. There's iPod and there's the Pandora. So the next thing we want to do is launch the ARC app on the phone. Once we've done that, if we want to turn it up, we can simply just twist like this. Right now we're playing the iPod. If you scroll down, here's your music. You can go back and playlist, tap here, it'll automatically go back. If we swipe to the left, it'll play the next track. If we swipe from the bottom up, it'll take us into our music selection. So like here is your FM radio, if you tap it, then it'll go to FM. Here's your presets here across the top. You can tune by just working the dial around. Scroll back up. You can get into Pandora here. It's going to ask you to launch Pandora app. So go ahead and log out of there. We'll go ahead and launch Pandora. It's going to connect. It's going to go ahead and start playing Pandora. There again, you can slide to the left and it'll play the next track. You have your thumbs up and thumbs down here. Now where the cool part comes in is right down here. This takes you into the actual radio settings. So now you can come in and you can adjust the 13 band EQ. You can change presets. You can add in custom ones. You can make your own EQ setting. You can control the subwoofer on and off, the phase of the subwoofer, the subwoofer volume. You can adjust your bass boost. You can turn on and off your loudness control. So all the features built into the radio are all built into the app. You can go into advanced settings and turn on and off time correction. You can get exit out of it. You can come over into the illumination. You can change the color on the radio. All from the app. So we're not hooked up to anything, it's just floating. What this allows you to control everything in here, from here, this opens up a lot of neat installation possibilities. So that you can control the radio from the phone if you gotta put it in the glove box or whatever you gotta do. Uh, now, bummer, it's not iPad compatible, so it will not work on an iPad. I don't know why. I was really hoping for that update, but it doesn't. But the RIC app is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. All right. Cool. Ended. All right. So thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.
As usual, you guys have a great night. Please subscribe. We love it. If you have questions or anything like that, leave them down below and we will get back to you. Have a great night. We'll see you later next time. Bye.